All right, everybody, welcome to Hai Phong, Northern Vietnam. Right now, we're heading out to get some of the very best street food here in the city. One of the most beloved foods, most iconic foods here in Hai Phong that you will find pretty much on every street in the city. There is a few places down here where we're staying and they all look really good, so we'll just take our pick, bring you along with us and yeah, show you the joys of the street food scene here in Vietnam. Got a proper beautiful day here, no rain, a bit of a blue sky, look at that. So, let's go starving. This one here is always the busiest, Banda Kua Dong, Xin Chao. So here we go. Where are we sitting? Xin Chao. Hello. Where is he putting us? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we have a seat. Yeah, it's really busy. It's like 4 pm, so it's not even like a prime hour. It's still super busy. Oh, grass. Okay. Yeah. Banda, banda, qua, everything. Okay. Yes. Can we get? <laughs> Is that everything? It's so busy in here. Oh wow. Oh, Is water. This... Water. Water. Coca. Oh no no no! Thank you. Come on, come on. What the hell? Is that busy? It's just. <laughs> He's literally got them pre-made because obviously everyone's getting the same dish with everything in. So he literally brought it over in about what? Five seconds. I've no idea how much this is, but it looks fantastic, doesn't it? God, it's super loud here. Yeah. It's mental, isn't it? It's a proper busy little spot. They maybe after we've eaten, I'll ask him if we can have a look around the scenes, but. So what have we got in here? So Banda Kwa. Banda Kwa. <laughs> okay. It's okay we throw that in. Okay. So this is like a noodle soup from Hai Kong. It's almost like a crab noodle soup. In here we have got mantis shrimp. I don't know what that is. We've got the beef stuffed into the betel leaves. Looks like we've got pork. Squid, um, is this squid paste cakes? Little shrimpies. What else have we got? Is that like a fish bowl? I have no idea. And there should be some like crab cakes in here, I'm, I'm guessing, but it's just hard to see because there's so much in here. At least she's getting the um, kumquat juice in. Yeah, getting rid of those seeds. We'll just give this broth a little taste then, eh? I mean, it looks bloody well good, doesn't it? Oh. That's really good, it's really clean broth, but it's got like a really strong crabby taste in there, like a seafood taste to it. Mm. Oh yeah, proper crabby taste. Wow. Let's get some of this fresh salad in there. Look at that, it's what you want. Let us get some of these fresh chilies. They look good, don't they? Let's get all of them. Oh yeah. And now let's also get some of this chili paste. That looks well good. Look at that. Get that big stir in there. Eh? Wow, this looks so good. Nearly forgot I didn't get the old vinegar and garlic in here. Essential, this is like one of our favourite condiments here in all of Vietnam. It is so good. Oh, this noodle dish, let me tell you. It looks ridiculously good. It is so loud here. Please, show everyone the bloody street. Uh, you've got this little alleyway next to us, which is like the busiest alley in Hai Phong, honestly. There's so much traffic in there. And it's so thin, so narrow. Like when you, it's ridiculous. It's like rush hour. And the best bit about this dish, actually these noodles, they're like these thick red noodles. I'll try and show you these, look at those. 
Let's give them a try on their own first. They're really good. Almost like a pasta. They were really thick. I'll show you them after because he's just got a massive basket over. Let's try this. I think it is squid paste, like a fried squid paste cake. Let's try that. Cheers. Oh, that's really good. Oh, that's really good. Oh, super rich. Really soft. Strong seafood taste on that though. What have we got? Piece of pork. Mm. It's essentially a massive goodie bag with all kinds of stuff in here. What is this bowl? What is this one, Leash? Uh, I think it's um, crab, maybe? Maybe this is a crab bowl. Let's try this, cheers. Mm. It's got chilli as well to go with that. They are spicy. Well, this is really good. Really good. Oh, you can get fried bread as well to dip in. Can we get some of them? Let's try this tiny little mantis shrimp. Look at that. Really small little guy, that. Oh, delicious. Mm. Got these crispy shrimpies. Another miscellaneous ball, I don't know what that is. Mm. That's well good, I don't know what that is. Oh, that's really good, it might be like a fish cake ball. Wait, why? I think we just ordered some of that fried bread to dip in. Now where is the bloody... The beef stuff in the better leaf. Can I like mash it up into a million? Oh, there we go. There we go. Now, these things are absolutely delicious. Let's go for that. Wow. As expected, fantastic. Oh, really meaty. Ah, come on. And now we've got the fried bread. We can throw in. The broth can soak right into those babies. Oh yeah. All that seafood broth is infused into that. Mmm. So good. Just, just literally simple fried bread, almost like a donut. But the broth just really, you know, like, absorbs into them. This is a really good dish. A proper high fong specialty, right here. Mmm. Bao niu. Oh. Bai bing yin. Bai, bai lam. Bai mui. Bai mui. Seven Okay. Seven five. Seven five. Oh, it looks so delicious. Okay. Bye, boy. Look at the noodles. Come on. Okay. Sat non. Come on. All the ingredients oh, on the broth. Some live steamy broth action for you right there. It looks well good. Look at all the stuff. Shrimps, the mantis shrimp. And all the other unexplainable ingredients. There you go, Leash. I don't know what they are. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what half the stuff in that bowl was, but it's delicious. And it's really busy, really busy. Alright, no time for a bloody chat in there, no time for any looking uh, backstage. They're just flat out. Never seen that many bloody bowls of noodles fly around in my life. Good job. <laughs> Gotta love it here. So I think now we'll go for something sweet. Let's go down the road. Try and find some traditional Haifong sweets. We'll see if we can find what we're looking for. Yeah, it's super busy. You could say, Hello, Xin Chao. 
You could say this isn't the time you should come out trying to make a food video or any video for that matter. It's just so hectic. But we're here, we're doing it. You see some right scenes all this time because there's so many people around. I forgot to say, each bowl of those noodles set us back 35,000 dong, which is phenomenal value because it was super filling and you got so much toppings in there, so much seafood. Look at this lady. The child <laughs> pushing her crocs down the street. Down the bloody rush hour street. That's the hustle, the street hustle right there. We actually need to cross here and see what we're looking for. A place selling something over here. We'll show you in a minute. We're just gonna have to go, aren't we? Oh! It's always a proper pain in the ass crossing a road like this, especially at rush hour. It's the cars, the cars just ruin it. You can't go in the, uh, the cars because they don't let you go. Because you can't eat in between bikes and like dodge cars. No, you can't. <laughs> and here is the spot. This is exactly what we're looking for. He's selling both things on. Xinjiao, hello. We are going to get Zua Zam and Kembo Zua. I'll show you what they are in a second. Pretty busy, there's a few people here. Xin Chao. Everyone's getting the coffee one. Um, do, do Moon, Ke Kembo Zua Mod. Um, what's the other one? Zua Zam Mod. <laughs> <laughs> Zoos, I'm the best. None. <laughs> it's a Haifong, Haifong specialty. <laughs> so the Zoozam is supposedly like a super traditional. I'm gonna call it a dessert. It's like a dessert slash drink here in Haifong. So many people we speak to tell us we need to try one. So, and the Kembo Zoo is like an avocado smoothie. You'll see. You'll see. Is this Zua Zam? Ah, so I think I think this is like strips of coconut. Yeah, it definitely is. And this is there is the strips of coconut. There's coconut milk. There's actual like strips of coconut, condensed milk, and this like jelly stuff. There's all kinds of stuff in this. Maybe sugar syrup. What's that? Oh, I have no idea. Hello, how are you? Sinjao. <laughs> ah, is this yours? Ah. What is this? This is avocado and coconut ice cream mixed. Ah. And then some more coconut on the top. Delicious. Hey, we've got that beautiful church there across the road. Oh, these look really good. These look really good. Right on my street. Ah, oh, so oh, come on. Oh, ho. Uh, bao niu. Uh, sao mui. Sao mui. That's it. <laughs> well, should we hold these? <laughs> should we hold these up? <laughs> come on. Come on. Perfect. Yeah, we will sit here. Come on. Got a little seating area here as well, right next to the road. So you can do a good bit of people watching with your dessert. Hey, look at that, yeah. Right, so this is the one that everyone has been recommending us to try while we're here in Haifong. This is the Zua Zam. That's it, yeah. Zua Zam, yeah. <laughs> I keep getting the words mixed up. And it just looks really strange. It's like almost congealed, like thick. And there's all kinds in it. You saw him just throw loads of stuff in. But essentially it's a coconut based dessert drink and let's just go for it, let's get a big spoonful. Oh. That is well done. It's absolute coconut heaven. It's so good, so refreshing. Is it sweet? It's really sweet. 
but you can still taste the coconut, it's not the slime. Because it just tastes like processed sugar and rubbish. There's like big chunks of ice in there as well, which you crunch through. There's like some strange like clear jelly in there. Oh, it's really good. Super, super creamy. Oh, no, it's really, I think they were... It was 60 for both, so I think 30 each. 30 each, maybe. That is delicious. Those like strips of coconut in there are really good. This is coconut heaven. If you love coconut, this is heaven. Let's get one more bagel. It's a messy eat bubble. Oh my god. Wow. Yes. So you've got, oh, look, that's a big piece of coconut. That's like a strip of coconut. That might be one of my favourite desserts ever. That is something special. Proper Haifong specialty. I see why everyone was telling us to try that. Now, Leash, what's this one? So, this one is avocado. It's already like pre made, so I'm guessing it's like avocado blended maybe with some sort of sweet cream, I have no idea. <laughs> and then uh, coconut ice cream on top, and then he's put like these crunchy bits of coconut, oh, these no. coconut chips. That looks so oh, good. Oh, it's so tasty. And I've got the miscellaneous jelly grapes. I'm gonna try the avocado. Is that coconut ice cream? Yeah. I think, I think so. Yeah. It must be if, if you're selling other coconut stuff. Get a massive. Mmm. Oh, it's so cold. That's well done. I'll tell you what, it doesn't taste the taste of avocado whatsoever. It tastes like... I don't even know what that tastes like. It's not that creamy either. It's, it's really, really light. It's like it's been beaten and beaten and there's air in it. It's so good, but I've just realised that I've got loads of shaved... Oh, you've also got the shaved coconut strands. Yeah, get in and get a taste of everything. Is it coconut ice cream? Yeah, it's coconut ice cream. Is that a big piece of... a big piece of coconut flesh. It's like a full on sheet of oh, slimy coconut, go on. <laughs> it's heaven that dessert. This one's a one. This one? Yeah. Well, I'll try this avocado one then. Are we filming? Yeah. It smells interesting. Looks really interesting, doesn't it? Let's get a bit of everything, a bit of the jelly. Oh, it's, it's hard to um, get it. Look at that, it looks so strange. You got a bit of everything there, the avocado, the coconut goodness, those little crispy coconut shavings. Cheers. Mm. That is weird. Right. You get a really nice coconut flavour, but the avocado is really interesting. Really creamy. You're like, oh, it's strange. I think it tastes of avocado. Only slight, slightly taste of avocado, but I actually really like avocado in this type of form. Like, we've had avocado ice cream before and stuff, and I really like it. Because it, when you put it in something sweet like this, it, Completely changes its like flavour. I really like that. It's a lot more savoury though. No, that's not overly sweet. These are well good. These two. I can tell they'll be proper filling though. These are like make you feel sick if you have a few of these. Well, the spots are sick from the church. I know, yeah. Like it is gonna get so busy. We had a look at that church today. It's well beautiful. These are those jellies in there. They don't really have a taste, they're pretty much just the texture, but they are pretty interesting. Like they don't add anything to the taste whatsoever. They just kind of get coated by the, 
the thick cream in the dessert. So the nice little addition. Oh. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. So coconut here. This place, I think, is a proper little family business. And some geezer has just come. This guy has just come and he's ordered 10 of these. He must be getting them from like, the office or something to take them back to work. 10. If you ever wanted to know how popular they are, 10 of them. And it's a really cool little spot, this, as well as this little. I'm going to call it a drink stand. We've also got a few banmi places. We've got banmi, banmi, and like four other places selling these same drinks. These zu zuazam. Lots of different places selling it, but this is the best one. Nicest people, and it's delicious. Gammon. Really good look, honestly, they've got so many. And they've also got this strange green juice. They're chopping these leaves up and then blending them in here. I don't know. Is it good? Sat, sat, non, non. Non, non. Is it good? Interesting. Right. It's good for your insides. Ah. But bao nil, bao nil, mud. Lam. 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 Mui lam. Mui lam nin. Okay. 15,000 for that. I don't even know if I have any money left. Oh, we got 5,000. Don't we? So many. Lam and chot toy mud. Okay. Lam and. We'll get one of these. We'll give it a try. I have no idea what this is whatsoever, but quite a few people have ordered them and I've seen them sipping on them. Oh wow! Look at the colour of it. <laughs> I mean, that's almost not green. That is almost black. Yeah, proper little family operation, and then a bit of sugar syrup goes in at the top. I think it's sugar syrup. Well, I'm guessing it is. Lắm, lắm. Oh, I don't understand, sorry. Toy ang. Ang. Oh, she's just chopping it fresh. Just goes straight into the blender. Ah, come on. Oh, here we go. Oh. oh, very good, delicious. Yes, I don't know what it is though. Oh, it tastes really good for you, I'll tell you that. Come on, come on. Try that. I don't know what it is. Green juice. Yeah, it tastes, it tastes like it's really good for you, put it that way. It tastes like just pure green. It's like grass. Yeah, <laughs> almost like grass, yeah. I quite like that. I can see you thinking about it. How many are thinking about it? If that guy ordered so many. Yeah, I thought that, but then I thought it tastes like... It tastes like carrots. It tastes like carrots. It tastes like the smell of hay fever. Which is the weirdest comparison ever. It tastes like hay fever. I don't think it tastes like carrots. It's probably really good for you though, so. 15,000. Vietnamese dong. Zau mai. Zau mai. Let's see, let's translate. Zau mai. Zau mai. Penny, Penny wart. Ah, okay, Penny wart. Ah, come on. It's a Penny wart juice. I got, in fact, it's just like a pure Penny wart smoothie, isn't it? With a little bit of sugar in it. Yeah, I've never had that before. So it's good for your body and it cools your body down. Yeah, that's what you just translated, eh? Cool for the body. Gets a 7 out of 10. Probably wouldn't order it over something like these sweet bad boys, but if I wanted something healthy, probably would order it. I would drink that again. <laughs> it tastes like carrot juice to me. <laughs> Come on. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. So if you are in Haifong, make sure you check this place out. Goodbye. Across from the church, across from the Seoul Korean restaurant. That place is probably not on the map. If 
fact, half the places we ever go to aren't on the map. And they're always the best places, so that's what you should be doing, just get out and explore. That might be it. Maybe we'll grab a tea on the way home. Maybe we won't. Look at that, Donny Kebab. Bloody rubbish. I can't think of anything worse than on a kebab right now. Let's see what I've just realised. My stomach is not going to be happy with that. We literally have just had a massive bowl of seafood noodles, crab broth, squid cakes, fish cakes, crab, you name it. And then we've gone for bloody ice cream, blended avocado, and then the green juice. Some proper funny people around here. Yeah, my stomach, that is a few strange things to have in your belly, isn't it? Not the um, usual combo you would go for. I'll tell you that. So many little tea shops around. Literally just everywhere on the street. Oh my god, literally every like 20 meters or so. Oh, baby corgi. Let's see if we can have a look at this. Look at this puppy corgi. You bloody love corgis here in Southeast Asia. Oh, he's so cute. Hello, Sin Chow. Oh, your dog is so cute. Oh. Corgi. Corgi. Oh. Is it a little boy or a girl? I don't know, but I want it. Oh, he's got no tail. What is its name? Hello. Cute. Your doggy. <laughs> Play for little one. It's a little girl. Oh, she's so cute. Doggy, yes. Doggy. Stop oh. hugging the corgi you now. <laughs> Sorry. Doggy. <laughs> oh, come Let on. me say she's hello. Oh, stuck in my bag. Oh, she doesn't want to leave you alone. She wants to come home. Hello, hello, hello. Hello! Oh! That's it now. Oh! <laughs> Come on. <laughs> That's so funny, the traffic was just so bad. That just wouldn't do across the road. And then a guy literally stopped. Got off his back on the other side of the road. He walked over the road and <laughs> helped me cross the road. What an absolute hero. People of Haifong are so nice. Honestly, that was like the busiest traffic I've ever seen here. There was just a million bikes non-stop. Where's our tea lady? There's usually a tea lady here, but she's not here. Maybe she comes out a bit later. Oh, maybe she comes out later. Ah, right, maybe we'll leave it at that. Now it's unfortunate. That's some really good desserts there, yeah. Love this city.